So I still remember the, the very first drink that I had. Uh, I was 14, 14 years old, and I was out in a uh, out in a boat with some friends, and, uh, and I remember for the first time feeling that buzz, like, whoa, this is crazy. And I think I only had like three beers that night, but I remember just uh, like the rest of the night, like was like you know a blur because I was like drunk off three beers, and then I remember waking up the next day just thinking how crazy that was, and. And after that, alcohol became a part of my life. You know, me and my friends, was, you know, we just started drinking more on the weekends, and drinking every chance that we could get, going to parties, <clears throat> uh, with girls, and got into <clears throat> college, started drinking even more and more, really going out. Uh, once, you know, because once I left my parents' house, had my own place, was really able to push things to the limit, and uh, and uh, and alcohol just became a part of my life. And as I got older, I saw a lot of, you know. Uh, Th things happened to some of my friends that were really awful due to alcohol. Um, I had a friend who, I had actually a couple friends who died due to alcohol-related accidents. Uh, one due to a boating is issue incident while he was drunk. Um, and another friend who died in a, uh, in a car crash while, at, while under the influence. Uh, like I said, several friends, unfortunately, who died due to alcohol and car accidents. Um, and uh, uh, and I have so many friends over the years who've, uh, who've had DUIs and who've had their driving licenses revoked and their um, I've been friend I've been friends who have multiple times getting DUIs um, and over the years I just saw you know more and more bad things happening to uh, you know my friends who are drinking and um, and uh, and I was always you know fortunately I was into self improvement I love taking self improvement courses and, and working on bettering myself as a person and um, so I knew deep down inside that you know nobody ever improves their life with with alcohol that um, you know I've, uh, I've never known anybody who's improved their life with alcohol but I've known a lot of people who mess their life up with alcohol um, and so deep down inside I just I just knew it was something that was holding me back and um, and I wanted to be like like the people that I admired because, you know, I've always had mentors and people that I've looked up to and Tony Robbins and Dr. Wayne Dyer. And when I looked at, examined a lot of the people that I admired, none of them drink alcohol. And I thought, wow, you know, they can really, you know, crush it in life and enjoy life and be happy and have fun and have a social life and date and be married without needing alcohol. Then, you know, I want to figure out how to do that as well. Um, and I realized that I made alcohol, alcohol had become a crutch for me. It had become a crutch and a part of my life and something that I needed in order to socialize. And I needed it in order to date and uh, it had become such a crutch in my life that I needed it to um, do any kind of social event. Um, but it had also caused a lot of problems for me in my life. I had so, I mean, I can tell you so many stories about stupid things that I did while I was drunk. And, you know, multiple times I got drunk and gambled away thousands of dollars. Um, I did things when I was drunk that cost me uh, relationships with women that I was dating. Um, uh, made some very foolish decisions. Uh, um, uh, more than once while driving, damaged my car. Fortunately, I never got a DUI, not quite just because I didn't get caught. Um, however, I did do stupid things and dinged up my car, and, um, and which was really dumb. And I did a lot of, you know, made a lot of really stupid decisions while well, under the influence, I punched out my own windshield of my car one time, and uh, it's funny. I just got off the phone with one of my friends who uh, um, who just got out of the hospital for um, for the past five days due to uh, due to alcohol. He drank so much over the past couple of weeks that his body was shutting down, and uh, he had to spend the last five days in uh, um, in the hospital. Fortunately, he's um, you know not going to drink anymore because he can't anymore. The doctor basically said that you know he has to quit drinking. Else, you know, it's going to cost him his life, so he decided to put down alcohol for good, which is great. Um, and so, about two years ago, I decided to uh, to put down. You know, I decided that I wanted to stop drinking, and, and I really didn't say I was never going to drink again. I just said that I wanted to take a, um, a break from it. And uh, um, and so, right on New Year's, about two years ago, um, I went. But uh, you know, it turned into four months, and uh, um, and I examined my life, and I thought, wow, you know, it's been four months without drinking, 
and uh, I was in better shape. I noticed that I was able to keep the weight off, the fat off easier. I had more energy. I loved, I loved being able to wake up on Saturday morning and Sunday morning and Monday morning with all my energy, not hung over. Because I remember that was something that you know that always held me back. Because I like to be a productive person. But then come Saturday and Sunday morning and Monday morning, I was always battling a hangover. And I was always battling that lack of energy due to a hangover. And so I'd always think, wow, imagine how much more productive I could be if I wasn't battling a hangover. And so that was something that I really came to enjoy over those four months. Um, that instead of battling a hangover, I could get up and crush a workout. So uh, um, so I said, you know, I'm going to see if I can go a little longer. And all of a sudden it turned into six months and into a year. Before you know it, it's been two years. And... Um, and I think about how much has changed over the past two years, how much I've changed as a person. I mean, I've changed so much as a person. Um, I'd say some of the biggest benefits is that I just feel like I, I know myself more. And I feel like I, I trust myself more as a person. Before, a lot of my life revolved around having a social life. I really, you know, I felt like I had to go out on the weekends. I had to have a, an active social life. I felt like I was incomplete without having a social life where um, over the past two years I've been single and uh, um, and really uh, most of the times on the weekends I just stay in by myself I, I read or I stay up working on a you know on a project that's very meaningful to me whether it's a, a business project or a research project or, or something and um, and uh, like it's Saturday night now I'm kind of headed home and uh, I, I have a you know a product I'm going to work on tonight and uh, uh, and I've just found this joy as I've in just being my own best friend where um, uh, and I think that a lot of it has to do with uh, uh, with being sober that I've just gotten to know myself that much more I trust myself more and also the cravings have gone away to go out and drink and uh, you know to get fucked up and uh, party where I remember it was like I always envisioned alcohol and getting fucked up as a part of my life even when I thought about my future like I remember thinking like I'd be like dreaming about my future life the future that I wanted and I remember even just fantasizing about you know how alcohol would fit into that you know oh, I know I have the perfect wife and we'll be able to go out and, and get drunk together but we'll still be successful and then we'll you know we'll, we'll moderate our drinking we'll you know we'll be you know on the weekdays we'll just blah, blah, blah. and then on the weekends we'll get fucked up and drunk together and and I would picture myself going on vacations and, you know, being able to get drunk on vacations. And I, and I don't know why, but it would, that would always fit into my fantasies. Maybe some of you can relate to that, but now it's not like that anymore. Like, I just don't even think about it anymore. Like, I envision my life in the, fu the future that I'm working on creating, like, uh, you know, someday just, you know, having peace without, and, and fun and adventures without... <laughs> Uh, alcohol fitting into that equation and now I don't even think about drinking anymore I you know when I uh, go out to a restaurant or or I, I don't think about I don't even think about ordering a beer I don't it doesn't cross my mind anymore you know after work I used to always think oh I need a beer to relax and I would think about it and I would think about you know when I would drink next oh you know this Saturday you know I'm gonna go out and get drunk and get some beers it's gonna have fun where I just don't even think about it anymore and that's something that I really like that um, I've gotten to that point where you know I just don't even have those cravings anymore and that's a big reason that holds me back from that that keeps me from getting back into drinking because the funny thing is I've never told myself that I'll never drink again but um, a big thing that keeps me from getting back into drinking is I don't want to rebirth that craving of, uh, um, of all of a sudden you know living for the next time that I get drunk or drink and living for the weekend and, and living for you know glass of wine after work or whatever I don't want to and I was never full-blown alcoholic somebody that was drinking like liquor as soon as they woke up in the morning and then drinking all day long I never you know was at that level but alcohol was always a consistent part of my life where every every week I was drinking and uh, um, and I was always on my mind I went on a vacation you know in the back of my mind I'd always be thinking about you know how I'm gonna fit in the alcohol into the equation and and I just like the, that, you know, it's not like that anymore. I'm going to Jamaica in a couple weeks, and I haven't even, you know, thought about alcohol. Like, oh, you know, am I going to be able to drink here? And, just, and you know, it's just, you know, I know I'm going to go. I'm going to have a good time, and I'm not going to be drinking. And so I just like that, um, like a kid. Like a kid doesn't think about when they're going to drink next, or they don't, you know, if you tell them that, you know, this event, they're going to a wedding, you know, if you tell your kid, you know, six years old or something, that they're going to a wedding, they're not thinking about how they're going to drink at the wedding, but, you know, you tell that to an adult, 
most of them are thinking like, oh, is there gonna be a, you know, an open bar there? Am I gonna be able to drink? Am I gonna have to, you know, bring my own up? Am I gonna have to buy alcohol? Am I free? You know, they're thinking about that. And so I like the fact that I've gone to like back to like a kid where I don't think about it anymore. That it's just, you know, my brain. Um, it, it doesn't take me any more willpower to moderate drinking. It's just, you know, not a part of my life anymore, and I and I like that. So, um, but like I said, it's funny. I've never told myself that I'm never gonna drink again. Um, I have just come to fall in love with living my life sober and I've gone long enough I've gone the distance without it that um, that I've rewired my brain I think over time your brain starts to rewire itself and uh, uh, and that's what you want to get to you want to give it enough time where your brain rewires yourself and you learn how to produce those feel-good chemicals and those feel-good feelings dopamine serotonin etc you know without without needing a substance where you can get joy from the simple things things in life um, uh, and, I, and, and that's what you know it, it takes time to rewire your brain because most likely you've been drinking for many years decades and uh, you know and it's you know, it's become a crutch you've conditioned yourself to to need that for everything for every holiday every social event every date every you know time you meet with friends everything has alcohol in it and so you know it's 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 gonna take time you got to be patient with yourself but I can assure you that if you give it time that your brain real 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 will rewire itself and uh, um, and you'll learn how to have fun and how to enjoy life again without it so uh, with that being said guys I hope you're all having a great day let's make it a great week a great month a great year let's make it a great life see ya <laughs>